Okay. I love those guys. Really professional and living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love because they have integrity, just like me. We're back with Pressing Issues. I'm Maurice Chavez, winner of five public radio awards in the Vice City area, including Best Voice. On this show, we take complex issues and boil them down to simple ones you can understand. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the cave of Blascoz in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Recently, my city considered passing a public curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think... This is my if fair. Back, back off, you asshole. You get morons in charge. Is that moral? I'm not sure. Let's press the issue. Children should be at home with their parents naked. A curfew makes sense. Do you know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked, even you. Why do we have to stay behind this divider? Maurice, please. Because nobody is interested in seeing your business. Because we have standards of decency which you are offending. Look at me. I'm jumping up and down. Oh my goodness, get back behind the divider. Please, I'm married. What's so wrong with me? Why do you hate me because I'm happy? Jan, give me a hug. I won't hurt you. And by the sound of things, your husband is doing the same right now with his secretary. No, we've worked through it. He was stressed. It's hard keeping a family together these days. Everyone, take your clothes off and feel what it's like to be free of bondage. Everyone out there in Vice City, take your clothes off. If this is the land of the free, let's start with our pants. Feel the wind from the air conditioning. Oh, a breeze is so liberating. <laughs> Thanks very much. Now, if you could get back behind that divider, Barry, please. Otherwise, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Thank you. Uh, n now sit down. On pressing issues, we think it is very important to respect one another, to treat each other like we would like to be treated. I want a hug. If you don't like the United States, son, why don't you move to Russia? I don't understand people in America today. They call this a Cold War, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to Pastor Richard Salvation Staff you and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 86. Come on, come on, get it, quick. Okay, okay, just please, don't hurt me. You'll be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, 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 stop selling things on my show. You're not a valued sponsor who supports the art of public radio, buddy. I, for one, welcome our new Russian masters. We can learn so much from other cultures. Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pop, I may just douse myself and care.